That's exactly what you asked for. Are you joking? Bitch, do I look like I'm joking? How am I supposed to rock around like this? You're fucking loco. This is how I always cut your nasty ass hair. Nasty ass hair? Ugh, don't even. Look who's talking, skank. No, bitch. My hair isn't dried out and reeking of smoke, okay? Whatever, ho. Why don't you go get knocked up again? You need to turn around and walk away. What's wrong? Did I hurt your whore feelings? Turn around and walk away. Gladly. At least I won't have to look at your whore face anymore. Fucking whore ass bitch needs to learn. Ooh, she's a little feisty one, huh? <laughs> this is what we refer to as a mega bitch. Confidence is key here. She has to know you're in charge and her bullshit isn't going to phase you. So whatever you do, just stay cool. Uh, could you move, please? You're kind of in my way. Good morning. I'm Nelson Williams and this is Honey Pop. We've just had a wonderful little encounter between a uh, woman, we don't know who she is yet, and this girl here. We know her as Audre. Audre, the Dark Magos. No, not really. She's actually just a young girl who plays tougher than she really is. Let's get her on our psychic iPod. iPad? iPhone. Yes. Uh, ew. What are you even doing at the mall anyway? Besides creeping on girls. Oh, pretty much the creeping thing, really. <laughs> at least you're honest. Well, you're going to have to do a lot better than that. Sorry, but you did put in effort, I guess. And you are kind of cute. I'll tell you what. If you're lucky, maybe we can go get high sometime. You down? Every day. Nice. Name's Audrey. Get at me if you want to make things crazy. Indeed. Now, she is the wild mind, one. Could you get the fuck out of my way? <laughs> no. All right, so Audrey, the wild one. The rude and crude one. Yeah, we'll be doing some work on her too. Uh, that pink girl with the wings you might have seen earlier, uh, that's our personal love fairy. She's working her own fairy magic, dark glamours indeed. And Audrey here will therefore do basically whatever we want of her. In the meanwhile, though, we have mail. Oh, we've got a picture from Lola. Look, it's me. I was about to board a plane for my morning shift. I forget what city this is from. Uh, Washington, maybe? Uh, Lola is a airline stewardess, you see. A very stewardess. With great fishnets. I don't think those are regulation. Now, back to the matter at hand. This red-headed little uh, she-demon. Let's check her profile real quick, shall we? Let's see, she's a flirtation girl. Not really into romance. She loves rave-style gifts. Her unique gift is drugs! That tells you pretty much everything you need to know right there. She also likes toys and aquariums, so she, she has fish, I suppose. Maybe she does something else with them. I really don't know. And of course, because she talks tougher than her, she is, her favorite drink is a dakiri. Okay, or daiquiri. However you spell it. I don't drink. Alright, while we're at it, we do have a bit of money, so let's buy her a gift. Alright, as it turns out, a very cheap gift has a heart next to it. This will give us a present in return. So let's do that for her. Put it in your face, little girl. And we got a present, so we'll check over here in the exploding head inventory. Aha, we have two presents in our inventory right now. Shoes! Plus one move for every four of a kind or more affection token match. That's pretty strong. That goes right into the date gifts. 
Earrings, plus one move for every two joy tokens on the grid. That's also pretty strong. Right into the date gifts. Alright, is there anything else we can buy for her while we're here? Hmm, she's not into that. Theoretically, we could buy her a drink, but it's morning, and even Audrey probably won't drink in the morning. Still, never hurts to check. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. She likes her a daiquiri. This guy knows how to party! Or, maybe she will drink in the morning. Well, then again, it is just a daiquiri. It's basically just an orange. It's basically just fruit juice, crushed ice, and, you know, the trace scent of alcohol. And now that we're done with that, we can talk with her. Question for ya. What's your biggest turn-off, huh? Well, she looks a little flat-chested, so we're not going to say flat-chested girls. She's a party girl, so she smokes. So, broads who don't know how to let loose and have fun. Well, you don't have to worry about me. Fun is pretty much my deal. Indeed. So is stupidity. But we'll get with that later. Let's talk with her some more, since she has a couple more dots on her appetite meter. I want to know something. So, what kind of shit are you on? Oh, I like to get high every now and then. Some hard shit, you name it, I've done it. That's not going to fly with her, because despite her tough talk, she's still just a young girl. Can I tell you a secret? I'm hot right now! <laughs> yes, you are. I just fed you some alcohol. Down your throat. In the morning, in the middle of a mall. I'm sure nobody will mind. Alright. Down here at the hamburger meter, she only has two left, which means I can only ask her one more thing before I have to start paying money. Since I dislike paying money, we're going to ask her on a date. But first... Up at top right there in the uh, pink numbers, you notice I have 2,900. That's enough honey to buy me a new trait. And I need it. Apparently I haven't bought any traits yet. Hmm. This game, uh, let's be frank, is balls hard. If you don't buy new traits to improve your abilities, uh, you're going to get castrated by the game. It is going to cut you off and feed you to and feed your better bits to yourself. Just shove them right down your throat. So, uh, she likes flirtation, so let's upgrade that first, shall we? Ooh, barely off from being able to buy another one. Hmm. I wonder, is there anything we could buy her that might change that? A bag of goldfish. Well, you know, I haven't known a girl yet who'll say no to a bag of goldfish. Take that. Swipe. But that does push our honey up. Excellent. We could buy another trait. We're going to buy more talent. Because every girl loves a talented man. Uh, let me tell you that. Personal experience. Alright. Let's get our date on. Will you stop bothering me? No. If I stop bothering you, this game would end. Okay, I'm here. So now what? So now, we play Candy Crush. Alright, like always, our first move in this game is to increase our sentiment and to increase our hearts, passion. That'll make uh, any matches we manage to cobble together even more powerful. So let's get some sentiment rolling. Oh, and we got a match out of that as well. Nice. Bells there give us an extra move. Extra moves are nice. We like extra moves. It looks like we can make a match four with talent over here. What does she like? Romance is her least desired trait, so talent is a good choice. Let's do it. Kabam! We can also get more bells. And more, more bells! An eternity of bells. Ooh. It looks like we can get a five match on flirtation. 
That'll be extremely powerful. So let's up its power a little bit. And of course, bells. Alright. Now, let's do the deed. Ooh, that one move basically pushed us halfway to our goal. Oh yeah, we can also give her a teddy bear. Keep them coming. Because, you know, why not? But giving her that teddy bear turned the broken hearts into full hearts, which we can use to up our passion level. And all the kids love a good passion level. Let's see... More passion for the passion gods. More flirtation for the flirtation gods. Bells for the bell god. Bell god. Okay, it's possible for us to make a four match right here, provided we can somehow get a uh, green token anywhere on this row. Which will be tricky since it doesn't seem to exist on that side of the field. Hmm. On the other hand, we can make a four match with Romance if we can get this Romance token here. Which is something we can do. Romance isn't her big thing, but a four match is still a four match. Bell it up. Sentiment it up. Passion it up. Rock the party. Rock the body. Rock the body that rocks the party. I believe that's how the saying goes. Alright, provided we can uh, avoid any matches on the broken hearts, I think we have this one in the bag. And one more good shot ought to do it. Let's see, can we make a flirtation match? Yes, we can. Ta-da! Ha ha ha. So I had a good time. Don't make such a big deal out of it. You also had deep pockets. And everything inside them is mine now. I'm not entirely sure where the money comes from. As near as I could tell, you basically do rifle their pockets while they're in awe of your romantic power. Or maybe the fairy that follows you around everywhere you go sends it to you. Either way. Let's see if we can buy her something. We've already bought her the uh, normal gifts she likes. But there are unique gifts. In this case, let's buy her some cigarettes. She's too young to buy them herself, actually. I think. She's 21. Hmm. Oh, score! You're not as big of a loser as I thought. Ah, such a compliment. And you're not as big of a whore as I thought. Okay. That did give us a hairstyle unlock. So perhaps we should check that out. Dark Streak. Vrom! She is now a rave goth. Yeah, I kind of like redheads better, but, you know. For the sake of showing it off, this is what we'll do to her. Alright. Anyhow, buying her the cigarettes improved her, uh... The amount of honey that she'll give every time you talk to her. So let's talk to her. Okay, well, how old are you since I'm buying you booze and drugs? I'm 21. I don't know why, but people say I look younger. Well, that's because you're an anime creature. And anime creatures have no age. Except 12 years old and a million years old. I think that's the only two they've got. But that runs out her appetite meter. And that means, to continue with her, we'd have to pay money for food. Uh, there's no reason to do that. Let's hunt us down another girl. Aha! 
the one who was arguing with Audrey here, well, everyone argues with Audrey, but the one who was doing so right out there, hmm, kind of a weird phrasing that. In any case, the one we just saw ar arguing with Audrey, let's hunt her down. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bye. Stalker Tastic 9000, bring me to the girl. Yo, I didn't expect to see you here today, Tiffany. Yeah, my English lit class was canceled. I'm trying to make good use of the time. Hey, listen. Thanks so much for watching Philip the other day. I know it was last minute. No, don't even mention it. I'd love to hang out with Billy. He's my little buddy. I'm hoping Philip is her trouble? cat. Nope, like an angel. An angel? Are you sure you were watching the right kid? <laughs> she said cat, right? I heard her say <laughs> I know cat. I still owe you two, so don't worry. I should be getting my paycheck tomorrow. I won't hear of it. I was more than happy to help out. Nonsense. I'm not taking no for an answer. Too late. <laughs> Have a good workout. Hey, get back here. This isn't over. Man, will you get a load of these two? I'd kill to have tits like that. This chick is clearly out of your league, but there may be hope. She's probably looking for a decent guy because of that baby mama drama. So, Kitty mama just drama. try not to be an ass for like five minutes. Oh, she's looking over this way. Showtime. Hey, are you finished with that machine? I have one set left to jam out. Ha ha ha, now our dark work begins. She's all yours. Awesome. Thanks so much. Let's see, have I seen you on TV or something? You look familiar. Really? OMG! I've done a couple of local commercials, but I never thought I'd be recognized! You must be new here. I don't think we've met before, right? I like to think I know all the regulars here on a first name basis. You could say I'm a little obsessed with this place, I guess. <laughs> My name's Kiana. Will I be seeing you here more often? Oh, you can bet that. Especially since this is one of the locations where we can hunt down the other girls as well. If I can pull myself off the couch long enough. I know what you mean. I have days like those too sometimes. Oh, dude, you know what? You have to try one of the yoga classes they do here. The instructor is awesome. I think you'd dig it. If you like being in a room with a bunch of sweaty girls, that is. <laughs> One of my most, uh... In life, there are these moments where you simply turn around a corner and come across a scene you have never expected to see. In my life, this was walking into work one day, coming around the corner, and finding the open area of work completely covered with young women in yoga pants, bent over. And, well, I can see why some guys might pay to show up at a yoga class. But that's not us. We have fairy magic. And a lot of money. So we have other means at our disposal. Let's buy some gifts. First off, let's go to her unique gift. That'll increase the uh, honey we earn whenever we talk to her. And since we're going to be talking to her soon, we might as well get that out of the way. Get the fuck out of town! Really? Yes, maracas. As it turns out, I believe she's Mexican. Yes, unique gift type, Mexico. She's Hispanic. This game is... Uh, very archetypical in its characters. Alright. But we have more gifts to buy. Are there any heart gifts? No. But we can buy her a Tango Rose. This will allow us to trade money for honey. Which kind of is how it works in the real world. Aww, you didn't have to go through the trouble. And since we still got a little bit more money, let's buy another one. Oh, sweatbands. Oh, we're doing this basically to, to uh, grind up our honey 
with our money, trade our money for honey, so we can get our traits up. This is seriously awesome! Oh, we also unlocked a hairstyle. How nice. Let's check it out. From Chica, she's, you know, Hispanic. To Modelo, she's, you know, Hispanic. Huh. Huh. I... I don't know. I wouldn't say that's quite a hairstyle. That's basically what I look like when I take my, uh... When I take my hairband off and let my ponytail out. Hmm. But it does give us enough to buy another trait. Spiffy. Alright, we'll just get a bit more romance in here. For some bizarre reason, romance is uh, illustrated by uh, a buttery croissant. Let's get us some croissant on. And now let's speak unto the girl. Yeah. Okay, let's start this right out with a wonderful question you should never ever ask a woman. How much do you weigh, if you don't mind my asking? I can get away with it because I have an evil fairy twisting her world. You? Eh, probably not so much. Stay away, children. I'm glad you asked. I'm down to 118, but most of that is muscle. Um, I can see your chest. I'm not going to say that's muscle. But let's talk to her some more. What was I going to ask you again? Oh, right. How did your last relationship end? I didn't have a last relationship, at least in the game. Uh, we sort of grew apart. Yeah, it happens. Sounds like it was for the best, though. It works out. You know, so far as having an evil fairy descend from the nether realms and send you on a quest to date and bang every girl in town, this can be considered working out. Uh, let's see. She only has two points on our appetite meter. She probably won't take any drinks this early in the morning. So, let's just get her on a date. Yes! I was afraid you weren't going to ask! Oh no. Fortunately, dates in this game are basically just hanging out sessions as opposed to making out sessions, so it's a lot easier to do, even Thanks if you didn't have an evil out. fairy. Such a nice day for the market. Yeah, we're just going to cruise through the market and look at vegetables, I suppose. I'm not really sure how these date things are supposed to work. <laughs> right on. Uh, my last date involved... Uh, pizza and watching Legend of the Overfiend. It worked. All right. As usual, our strategy is pretty simple in the opening game. We want to build up sentiment and we want to build up passion level. That means matching teardrops and hearts as best we can. We also want to match bells when we can because nobody ever turned down an extra turn. Alright, now let's check her profile. She loves some talent and she's not really into romance. Good enough. So let's see what we can do to build upon that foundation. Well, that's a heck of a thing. Alright, we have enough sentiment to give her the bear. <laughs> And the bear explodes all those hideous, ugly, broken heart tokens. Nobody likes hideous, ugly, broken heart tokens. Get a little more passion in. How much do we need? Four to the next level. Okay. That's important, because I want to do a four match here. But I want a little more juice behind it when it hits. Excellent. Let's see, what else can we do? What's she like again? Okay, talent. Talent, not much into the romance. Well, we can make a four match with romance here if we do a little bit of work in that area. Oh, we could have. But I broke that up, oh well. We'll get by. Let's see, what are the Hupa earrings? One move for every two broken heart tokens. One move for every four of a kind. One move for every two joy tokens on the grid. Eh. 
This is danger. It is possible for us to do a controlled demolition. It's early in the match, and we won't lose too much for it. So that's what we're going to do. That also, fortunately, put us in a position to make a, f a match on talent. Recovering everything we lost to the demolition. Oh yeah, and also bells. Girls love bells. Actually, let's see, if I can drop this down a little bit, I can match across and over here, making a powerful five match. And let me tell you, girls love five matches. But I must be careful. That wasn't how I wanted to do it. But it worked. Yeah, that's romance. We shouldn't be wasting our time with romance. Instead, we should be filling our time with these bells. Can we match these bells? Yes. Excellent. Well, that was efficient. Plus one move for every two broken heart tokens on the grid. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do it. Cute. That buys us a lot of time. Which is good because we have a lot of talent matches to make. Okay, doesn't like romance, so we'll avoid that match over there. Uh, the sentiment match doesn't really do much for us. Aha, this is handy. Oh, success! Excellent! Bing! Did you take an awesome class or something? Where did you learn to be so awesome? Uh, the same class I learned my pickpocketing skills, apparently. And back to the club for a post-market workout session. Just the way it should be. That gives us quite a bit of money. Um, let's see if there's any more gifts that we can buy for her. Again, she likes the leg warmers, and we do have plenty of money. Thanks so much! Excellent. And we're almost to our next trait buy. However, she has uh, just two left on her appetite meter. We've bought all the gifts of note. So we'll ask one more question and then bug her off to the next girl. Let me ask you something. What are you looking for in a relationship? Well, technically speaking, I'm looking to satisfy the evil fairy that hovers over my every action. Uh, but as far as you're concerned, let's hang out, have fun, and see where it goes, you know? That's cool. I'm the same way. No reason to rush into anything, right? Yep. You know, you wouldn't want to rush into any kind of situation where you'd accidentally end up as a single mother or anything like that. I mean, a kid would get in the way of your cat, right? But that eats up her appetite meter. To continue this conversation would require shoving food into her face. But we can buy a trait. Let's do that before we forget. Sexuality, yes. Which is represented, in this case, by a silk blindfold. A little bit of kinky. A little bit of love. 
and we are ready to march to our next conquest. However, this video has gone on uh, about long enough, so we'll end it here. This is Honey Pop. I'm Nelson Williams. Thank you for watching, and as always, see you in the next video.